Sudan has been rocked by intense clashes between its military and the country's main paramilitary force, which have claimed hundreds of lives and forced thousands to flee for safety. The situation has raised concerns of a potential civil war that could destabilize the entire region. The fighting is rooted in a power struggle between the two main factions of the military regime. The Sudanese armed forces are broadly loyal to Gen Abdel Fattah al-Burhan, the country's de facto ruler, while the paramilitaries of the Rapid Support Forces, RSF, a collection of militia, follow the former warlord Gen Mohamed Hamdan Dagalo, known as Hamedti. The RSF was founded by former dictator Omar al-Bashir to crush a rebellion in Darfur, and the group has been accused of widespread atrocities. After Bashir's ousting in a 2019 uprising, an eventual showdown between the two factions appeared inevitable. The power-sharing deal with the civilians who led the protests against Bashir was interrupted by a coup in October 2021, putting the army back in charge. Tensions have risen further in recent weeks, with Hamedti, who has huge wealth derived from the export of gold from illegal mines and commands tens of thousands of battle-hardened veterans, chafing at his position as official deputy on Sudan's ruling council. Civilians have also called for the handover of lucrative military holdings in agriculture, trade, and other industries, a crucial source of power for an army that has often outsourced military action to regional militias. The situation in Sudan is further complicated by its strategic location and agricultural wealth, which have attracted regional power plays. Several of Sudan's neighbors, including Ethiopia, Chad, and South Sudan, have been affected by political upheavals and conflict. Sudan's relationship with Ethiopia, in particular, has been strained over issues including disputed farmland along their border. Major geopolitical dimensions are also at play, with Russia, the US, Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, and other powers battling for influence in Sudan. The Saudis and the UAE have seen Sudan's transition as an opportunity to push back against Islamist influence in the region. They, along with the US and Britain, form the Quad, which has sponsored mediation in Sudan along with the UN and the African Union. Western powers fear the potential for a Russian base on the Red Sea, to which Sudanese military leaders have expressed openness. The situation in Sudan is complex and could have far-reaching consequences for the region.